hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys I'm going to guide you how you can troubleshoot the issue related to Windows update error so you need to make sure that you need to follow all the step step by step okay do not skip any skip since the steps are in a sequence so you have to follow all the steps step by step this video will be around five to six minutes so let's start without wasting our time guys first of all guys we need to make sure that the window service is running that is the update service in our windows system so in order to check that you need to open the services this is very important sometime we stop the services that's why we get the error you need to run the services as admin and once you open the services as admin you need to press anywhere on the services and press W on your keyboard okay and we need to look for windows update here is the windows update you can see here you need to right click over there go to its properties and startup type choose that to automatic okay choose that to automatic and click on apply and once it is automatic make sure it is running if it is already running but you are getting the issue just stop it once okay and it is already running you can see here and on the top we can also stop it okay it is a stop now and we can start it here okay so this is the first way now let's move on to the second method open the file explorer these uh, steps are in a sequence here you need to follow all the steps we need to click on this PC here and go to Windows Drive it should be C so double click on it open the folder Windows double click on it and in here we need to look for software distribution folder press S on your keyboard and look for this software software distribution just double click on that and we need to delete all the junk file here so these are the files when we update the windows and these are the junk files so you need to press shift and delete on your keyboard and simply delete all the folders here inside the software distribution you may have to give the permission here hit yes option here and tick this option and click on continue option here now no harm to your computer after deleting these since these folders are created when we update the windows so once these files are deleted we have to follow the other another method also leave all the files which are not deletable okay just do this and skip this option now cross this out if all the folders are deleted the well and good you can also delete these logs here if you are able to do these are open so you may re you can restart your system if you are getting the this issue so now let's move on to the third method in the third method if sometime windows files are corrupted so open the cmd command prompt as admin and type sfc space forward slash scan now this will repair any integrity integrity violation and windows file related error inside our windows directory and once this command is executed you have to finally restart your system and once all three and four steps are executed by you your issue should fix and you also need to make sure that guys sometime we connected with the network and we set our connection as meter okay so try to disconnect your 
this option meter connection just turn it off okay and then try to update your windows now it should work so these are the fixes guys to troubleshoot this issue so i hope after applying this method in windows 10 and 11 your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech